Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and today we're talking about brushes. I rarely ever talk about tools in my channel simply because I feel like everyone has their preference. There are some really good high-end tools, some really good drugstore tools. Like, I like a mix of things. I'm not really picky, but I recently came into possession of the Katie Jane Hughes uh, X Spectrum collection. She did a brush collection with them, I think, last year. We all know this by now, this is old news, but I just recently got it as a gift for my birthday a few months ago. And I've been playing with the brushes and I just wanted to talk about them and review them for you guys, let you know if they're worth the price, if they're worth the hype, just in case you also have been looking into purchasing these or just purchasing Spectrum brushes. I got that 25 piece brush set. It comes with 25 brushes, this super cool travel case, a little towel inside. That's what I'm gonna get into today. If you guys have been curious about this collection or you're just not entirely sure if it's something that you want if it's something that's for you then please make sure to keep watching because I'm about to break everything in here down So Spectrum is a British brand. They mostly do brushes. You can get their products through their website. I think you can get them through Cult Beauty as well. And recently at Ulta, I believe at Ulta you can only get like a few. You don't get the whole collection anywhere except for their website. And that is where I purchased this. They shipped really fairly quickly. And I think it was free shipping because of the amount of money I spent, but it came in a week. There were no problems with the shipping whatsoever. I was pleasantly surprised, especially because it comes overseas. I shipped it to the States and I brought it with me to Guatemala because otherwise it would have been uh, a longer process but yeah shipping it to the States very seamless process I was very happy about that and now let's get a little more into the actual set so this set comes with 25 brushes this travel case right here which I love I've never had anything like this before and I really really like it it comes with a little towel that you can use whenever you're doing your makeup just to like easily clean your brushes and stuff it's really nice I think it's cute and obviously you get all the brushes here now this was $225 for 25 brushes that comes at about $9 a proc, so it's less than $10 per brush. Not the most affordable, but not super expensive either. I was really in need of new brushes. Like I've had my old brushes. I have some brushes that I need to throw out and I've collected a lot over the years, but I just really needed something updated. And this is exactly what I needed. Disclaimer, I did not pay for these. I got them as a birthday gift for my parents. But right off the bat, I will say I would spend my own money on these. You get face brushes, you get eye brushes, you get something for the lips, for the brows. You get a little bit of everything everything here and the best part about these brushes is that you can be very versatile with them you can use them for different things if you go to their website because these are numbered 1 to 24 because there is one that's a repeat Katie Jane Hughes actually talks about each one of these and what she uses them for and she's like I use this for eyeshadow or to blend concealer like she uses all of these for different things and I also use all these for different things I didn't really read the description per brush when I bought this and I started using them I just you know started experimenting and using them as I saw fit but I just quickly want to go over all these and tell you what I use each of them for. I think it's good to break them down and you can always go to the website that I will leave down below to learn more about what their intended use is. But um, starting off with number one, it's just a big like, it's not super fluffy and it's not super dense. It's like a domed brush and it's just perfect for powder, perfect. You can use it for like contour or bronzer or powder. I use this mostly for powder, like powdering my face. I really like it and you can truly use it for anything. And then we have number two, it's just a tinier version of that one and it's a little less round. It's more tapered and again, it has a little dome. You can use this for blush for bronzer for contour you can really go into the contour with this because it is pretty small like relatively small and again it is tapered I have also used this for powder specifically under the eyes I do use this one a lot because I don't use powder all over my face all the time so I like to go and pinpoint my powder with this one it's a little bit more precise but I've also used it to contour and it works beautifully specifically for powder contour it's perfect shape if you have a tiny face like me moving on to number three this is a really weird brush it's very dirty. I use it for blush, specifically cream blush because it is uh, a dual fiber brush. I really like this for cream because the dual fibers make it easy to blend and also it's really tiny so you could use this to apply foundation, your uh, cream blush, bronzer, everything. You could really use this for everything. It's really tiny and precise and that's why I like it for my blush. I find it's just really easy and simple to apply what I want to where I want to 
to in a precise manner. And number four is very similar to that. It's basically the exact same thing. Again, super dirty, but in more of a slanted shape. So I like to use this for bronzer and contour. You could also use this for blush. It's exactly the same as the other one, just because of the shape, I prefer to use it for my contour. It makes it really easy and just, you know, seamless to get into the area that I need it to get into. Then I have number five. It's just a slanted brush, very similar to the last one, but this one isn't a dual fiber. It's just a slanted brush and it's a lot fluffier. I like to use this for either powder bronzer or powder blush. Very nice, very easy to just deposit color, blend everything. These are very soft, like some of the softest brushes I've ever tried. It never deposits product and makes it look patchy. It always just whoop, seamlessly lends, so yeah. Love this for my cheek products. Up next we have number six. And this is kind of like a foundation, like a flat foundation brush. And I have to be honest, I don't really use this at all. You can use it to con conceal foundation, but I find this a little too big for my under eye area personally and too small for the rest of my face. So this is a weird one. Foundation for me is more of a hands thing or like beauty blender, or I'd rather use other brushes that I own. This one is just a miss in my opinion. I don't really use it. Up next, I have number seven, this one right here. It's kind of like a big version of a flat brush for your eyes. You can use this for eyeshadow, just if you just want to blend some like bronzer or something super easy on your lid. I've used this to just powder certain areas of my face, but mostly I would use this for my eyes. You could use it for concealer as well. Again, like it's too big for some things and too small for other things in my opinion. So I've used this mostly on my eyes when I just need something super quick or I just need to powder my uh, concealer or my primer. This is another one that's like good. I have used it, but I don't uh, really understand it. Then we have the number eight. There are two of those in here and that is on purpose. This is like Katie's favorite brush. I find this to be amazing. This is perfect for literally everything. You can use it to powder. You can use it to contour very precisely. If you have bigger eyes, you can use it on your eyes. Like it's so versatile. You can use it for literally everything. It's like a huge blending brush, truly. Like if you look at a blending brush for the eyes, this is like a huge version of that. And it works very well with powder, with creams, Blends everything really nicely and I love that I get to because I understand. I understand the hype. Up next, we have number nine. This is a really, really weird brush because I don't know, I, I, I haven't really seen many brushes that look like this. It's really short and it's really like compact. I don't know how I would describe this, but I didn't think I was gonna love this as much as I do, but this is amazing to clean up everything. Like if I need to clean up like my lip area, I'll just go in with a little bit of powder or concealer and just stamp, stamp, stamp. It makes it super easy. Wings you guys with this cleaning up wings is the easiest thing ever you just grab a little bit of concealer or a little bit of setting powder and you just boop 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 it's so easy because it is so long you can just do like this and it's already clean alternatively you can also use it for like waterline you can go into either eyeshadow or a liner and use it in your waterline and i feel like it might be big and invasive for a few eyes if you have smaller eyes but the shape makes it really easy to just boom stamp it so this is a great brush it's a weird one i never thought i'd need it but it comes in really handy and then I have number 10. This is another, this is kind of like number eight, but slightly smaller. But I like to use this for concealer, actually. I find that it's fluffy enough that it blends everything really well, yet it's small enough so that I can use it, you know, on my under eye area. I really like this one. Again, you could use it to pinpoint like powder or to highlight. You could also use it on your eyes. You can do a lot with this one, but I like to use it for concealer. And now I move on to eye brush territory. This is number 11, and this is a beautiful brush because it's a blending brush, but it's it's tapered so it's part it's just perfect for everything because it's perfect to blend precisely on your crease it won't go like everywhere because it isn't super fluffy it's more tapered so it'll get exactly where you need it to get but it's also fluffy so it will blend out and leave no harsh lines up next I have number 12 and this is just an eyeshadow packing brush again it's a flat brush it's really tiny like it's pretty short but this is just perfect to like pack on your eyeshadow I like to use it for either creams or just you know when I need to pack on eyeshadow because it's small enough to to be precise and I find that it adds the product really well and it really melts into the eye almost like a finger would. It's always a must when it comes to eye brushes. That's a word. Okay up next we have number 13 and this is kind of like a blunt blending brush. It's weird. It's smaller than your usual blending brush but it kind of like it cuts here. It doesn't get like super domed and fluffy. I use it when I need something that's a little more precise to like blend precisely maybe like the outer corner and I want it to be a little more defined. It's also great for a lower lash line if you have bigger eyes. Then I have this one right here which is a really really flat and like 
pointy brush. This is perfect again for lid. Whenever I need something on my lid, maybe I want something that's super metallic so I even wet my brush. This places the product perfectly. This little like little point that it has right here makes it super easy to get into the inner corner and do like inner actual inner corner work. It's very easy to be precise with it. I also like to use it as a lip brush, but I do like to use it mostly for my eyes. Then I have another like eyeshadow packing brush. This one is a little longer than the one that I showed before. Like it has less bristles and it's a little more fluffy. So I like to use this one when I'm applying something, like something a little more chill. I don't really need it to be super precise or super packed on. It's a nice to have if you do eyeshadow. Up next I have number 16, which looks like this. I don't even know what the shape, it's just a flat brush, like flat, flat, like a rectangle. To be honest with you, have not really used this at all. Again, you could use it for your lips, but I find that the shape, it's just a little weird. Oh, there's thunder. It wouldn't like really work for my lips, I feel like. Again, if you have bigger lips or better skill, maybe you could, but for me, it's just not not doing it. Um, you could also use it for like, you know, cleaning up your eyeliner. But I prefer the other one that I showed you before. This one's a lot more flimsy because it is longer. I feel like you could use it for a lot of things, but it's another one of those brushes that I don't see the need for. Number 17 is a very standard blending brush. It is a tinier blending brush, which I love because I have small eyes. So this is just the perfect blending brush for me. I like to use it on my crease whenever I need everything to be super smoked out and blended out. It's my perfect transition color tool. Such great quality, just makes the blend so much better. I cannot live without a brush like this. Then number 18 is this like little tiny pencil brush, but it's not entirely a pencil brush. It's almost like a tiny, tiny blending brush, but a little more densely packed. I like to use this one to pinpoint concealer if I have a zit or whatever. I'm currently breaking out a lot, so I'll just go in with product and I just pinpoint the concealer exactly where I need to. And this blends everything really well. And it also makes sure that I get the most coverage. You could also use this one as like an outer corner you know, you can pack and blend kind of like a pencil brush. Then we have number 19. This is really similar to the one I just showed you before the last one. But again, this has like a straight top. It's not super fluffy, it's more straight. I haven't really seen a difference from this one and the other one. The flat top might be slightly different, but I don't know. You can never have too many blending brushes and this again is perfect for me. Perfect blending brush for my eye size. I love it so much. Okay, then I have a tinier version. This is number 20. This is a tinier version of of, uh, the other super flat pointy brush that I showed you and I lied. This is the one that I've used for my lips. This isn't as pointy as the other one. This is just more like a, a regular flat brush. I find that the shape just makes it very easy for me to use it. Otherwise you can use it on your lips. Next I have number 21. This is a perfect detail brush. I've used it to smoke out eyeliner. I've used it whenever I need to be super precise in the outer corner. Again, I've used it when I need to be very precise in my lower lash line as well. This isn't as densely packed as the one that I showed you before that is kind of like a pencil brush. This is more of like a mini blending brush, truly. Like it is slightly domed. It is pretty fluffy. Again, I have tiny eyes, so these tiny brushes really help me be precise. I love this one so much. I have never owned a brush like this one and it is so good. Up next I have number 22. This is just your standard like eyeliner brush. It's super thin. You can use it for gel liner, liquid liner. I don't really use this one a lot because I don't do a lot of eyeliner but if you like to do wings and you like gel liner, I've used brushes like this before and they're so good for preciseness. Number 23 is your standard brow brush. This is a really, really tiny and super flat angled brush, which is great for eyebrows, but it's also great for eyeliner. I have used it as both and it's great. It's intended to be used as both because it is so thin, like it is so, so thin. It's perfect for making your brows look super natural and making the hair strokes really thin. And of course, you can never have too many spoolies. I have so many spoolies and I use all of them all the time. It's just a spoolie. There's nothing crazy about it, but it works really well. And then last but not least, uh, number 24 is similar to the other eyeliner brush that I showed, but Katie Jean Hughes said that this was inspired by like nail art technicians. I don't know if that's what you call them. They use brushes like this to create like shapes with your nails. And I have seen this when people do super editorial looks on Instagram and they just make it super easy because this is super long. It makes it really easy to just control and create shapes. I don't use this all the time because I'm not doing those looks all the time, but it's such a great product to have because what if one day I really want to do like a super graphic eyeliner or just experiment? I have this right here. This is just a little bonus that I'm not going to be using all the time, but it's a good to have.
Okay, so now that I've gone over all of these, I can tell you that I love them. I use most of them. There's maybe like one or two that I don't use. Some of these have become my staples already and I can tell you I have a lot of brushes and a lot of tools that I've collected over the years. Some are better than others. I like my Morphe. I like my Real Techniques. I think they're amazing. I have never gotten brushes. They're not super expensive. I just think because I got so many of them that it was the price that it was, but the quality is unbeatable. I have never tried brushes that are this soft and blend this well. They all perform top tier. It's unreal. Now that we've gotten the practicality aside, I freaking love the everything about these. They're so sleek. They're so beautiful. The green, hello. I'm obsessed with the green, the gold, the cream. It just, it's a perfect combination and I am like, I just, these bring me so much joy every time I look at them. I feel so cool. I feel so pro. Now when it comes to cleaning them, I like to use either like a brush soap or olive oil and dish soap mixed in and these hold their shape really well. I've only cleaned them once before, but they hold their shape really well. They don't get loose on the bristles. Obviously I try not to get the whole thing wet because I want these to last as much as possible, but they hold really, really well. Sometimes with like cheaper brushes, I have noticed that they start getting slightly looser every time you clean them and every time you know you run water through them. These so far have been amazing when it comes to cleaning. Now, who do I recommend this for this little set specifically? If you're a makeup artist and you're just building up your kit or you're due for like a brush replacement, you should get this 100%. When you think of it, 25 brushes for $225 isn't that bad. Honestly, for the quality, you get a freaking travel case, which I think is super useful if you're a makeup artist. You get a little towel as well. This is just made for makeup artists, I feel like. So I definitely recommend this if you're a makeup artist and you're like checking it out definitely go for it if you're like me beauty enthusiast you love doing your makeup you love experimenting you do makeup all the time and you're due for like a brush replacement or you just feel like you need more brushes you don't have enough then I definitely recommend this as well because again great quality you'll be using most of these because you know you're constantly experimenting with makeup and just trying new things so I feel like this is just perfect for the everyday then when you want to experiment and get bold with the makeup you can also do that with these right here if you're just starting out, I would recommend going for like less expensive tools so you can learn with those and then eventually move up to something like this. Not that these are super expensive, but you know they're more of an investment. I wouldn't recommend just going and buying this right from the get-go because you wouldn't have a use for all these brushes and a lot of your money would probably go to waste. And then I think if you're someone who, you know, you're into makeup, but you're more of a minimalist um, and you just do makeup for events on the daily, you don't do a lot, then I would, I, I think these are great brushes and I think you definitely should own them, but I wouldn't go for this specific set. I'd go, I know they have some other sets. They have like an eye set, something for the face. So I think you should go for those as opposed to this one because you won't need all these brushes again. So why would you waste your money on brushes you're not gonna use? You can buy one of the smaller sets that would best suit your needs. I feel like I've been talking for 75 hours, but the overall consensus of this review is I love these brushes. I think they're amazing. I would spend my own money on this. And uh, if, yeah, they're amazing. Katie Jane Hughes, you have done something amazing. I just wanted to share my thoughts in case anyone is still like eyeing them and still thinking about buying these this late in the game. I, I really love them. Couldn't live without them now that I have them, honestly. Have you guys tried these brushes yet? Do you guys think they're worth the price? Let me know everything down below. If you're thinking of buying them, but you still have some questions that I didn't address here and you can still let me know down below and I will answer anything you wanna know to the best of my abilities. If you enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you're into super easy and real makeup and beauty content like today's video, then please make sure to subscribe. I post videos every week and I would love to have you back. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you right here for my next video. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.